Do you want to learn how to draw this adorable little Rudolph? If so, you are going to need something to draw with, something to erase any mistakes that you might make, and a Sharpie to outline your doodle when you are done. <laughs> and don't forget the crayons, the markers, the colored pencils, or the paint so you can add a little color to your doodle. Grab all those supplies and let's get started. started on our adorable little Rudolph character. So we are going to start by making a kind of a boxy shape here. I do want to kind of round it a little at kind of like these corners. But for the most part, it's just going to be kind of a boxy shape. So instead of having a nice rounded face, we're going to kind of flatten it out a little bit. Then I am going to come up here and do some kind of oval shapes for his ears. Some little oval -y shapes. And so far he's adorable. Then I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to kind of add in like some little hair pieces. And then I'll finish that line. So that way we've got kind of like a little hairdo here. And then we've got the line here, which for whatever reason is really wonky. Oh my goodness, now I'm going to end up having to make all my lines nice and dark. Uh, okay. <laughs> now, I'm going to come down here in the middle area of his face, and I'm going to go ahead and give him a nice big oval nose. Then I'm going to come down here at the bottom, and we're going to curve up into the middle of his oval nose. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And that's just so he has that little bit of a lighter face. Give him a little smile there. And we'll come over here and add his eyes. If you want to give him little white shine marks, you are more than welcome to. There we go. Super cute already. If you want to give him little eyebrows, you can. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to move up here to the top and give him his antlers. And antlers aren't super easy. They can be tricky. So it's kind of just going to depend on how comfortable you are just kind of making these really organic wiggly lines if they're super hard just use sticks just draw straight lines the antlers really shouldn't be the same I don't think their antlers are um, like identical I think that they're very different so you can go ahead and kind of make them whatever works for you I'm gonna do two straight parallel lines for his neck, and then I'm gonna draw, not really a V, but kind of like a rounded V shape down here at the bottom. And that's because what I wanna do is I wanna give him a big, fat, chunky, like Jingle Bell collar. So before I draw in the collar, I'm gonna go right down in the middle here and draw a circle for one Jingle Bell. I'm gonna come over here to the side and draw a second jingle bell up a little bit, so it's kind of diagonal. And then over here, I'm just gonna draw kind of like a C shape. And that's because I kind of want this one to be where it's kind of like on the other side. So now I'm gonna come out here. I'm gonna come down in a little diagonal there. And we're gonna come down and around. That way, this is kind of like his, uh, his little collar there. Now on each circle, you kind of put an X and you get kind of a jingle bell look. So I figure we'll do that on each one. Now he's got a cute little jingle bell collar. <laughs> so cute, cute already. All right, now I'm gonna come down from the end of that collar with two curved lines down. And that's just gonna be like his front leg. So we'll have him kind of sitting here. And I'm gonna come in here with kind of like a V shape not touching. I just want his arms or his uh, front paws and legs here to just be really close together. I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to create a little patch of fur. 
just kind of some little just little zigzags there so I could just add like a different brown and then I'm gonna round off the bottom here and if you want to put like a little V up in there for his um, hooves you're more than welcome to I am just gonna draw them straight in and color them in nice and black these are just gonna be the tips of his little feet and then maybe a little straight line in the back and now he is totally not done. He is missing some back legs. So now what I want to do is I want to create kind of like a nice big oval shape here. And that's going to get colored all in black. And I really recommend that maybe you color it with a black Crayola instead of a black Sharpie. Just because it does kind of go through your paper and it will mark on your table or at least have a second paper underneath if you're going to color. All right, so now I need to copy this foot over here. So he needs another foot. And I just want it to look like he's kind of just maybe sitting, um, maybe like sitting in the snow, just kind of relaxing. Maybe it's just been a long day at the North Pole. And then we'll give him two knees right there. So he's just kind of sitting there. And maybe we just add some bumpy background for some snow. You can add whatever you want. Maybe you want to actually draw the North Pole in the background. Look at how adorable our little Rudolph is. Okay, now is the best time. This is the time that we get to color it. So I have all different browns here, which I think is what I'm going to use instead of using markers. But I do want to use a red marker for his nose because I want his nose to just be super bright red and vibrant and just very off the paper. So I'm using a red super tips Crayola for that. And then what I'm going to do is come down here into this part of his face and I'm going to use a peach sort of skin color and color that in and it is not going to stay peach so I know it looks a little funky right now but we are going to go over it. I just want it to kind of be a lighter brown color so I'm going to kind of put a base very light. I'm not, I mean I'm trying to cover it all the way but I'm not trying to color so dark that it's like super peachy. I'm gonna set that to the side because I'm still gonna need it a little bit. Then I'm gonna get this kind of really light, almost honey brown, and I'm gonna color right on top of that peach. And then it won't be so brown, um, but it won't be so peachy either. It's kind of like a nice mix. Okay, so I'm gonna color all of this in. And it helps give it a little bit more coverage. All right, so we got all that done. And now I'm not gonna add that peach. I'm just gonna come down here and color with this honey brown. And you can kind of tell a difference in the color between that one and that one. They are definitely different. Then I am going to do, I think, his little collar here. So I don't know what color I want to do. Let's do black, but I'm not going to color it super dark. I want it to be black. I just don't want it to be as black as, like, his legs. I mean, his uh, feet and his little hooves. So let's color it black, but then I'll kind of add a little darker black in there, give it a little shadow, and kind of just bring it to life. I love it. Already he is so cute. Okay, let's do yellow for the bells. And then we'll go in with a little bit of like an orangey color to help make them look a little more gold instead of so much yellow. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's not even done and he's so adorable. Okay, how about a regular brown? I don't want to go too dark, so I'm going to color really light with this brown. Then I'm going to go over with like that honey brown. That way he's got just kind of, it's darker than this, but he's not like dark. And I'm going to do that everywhere. You could also color with the honey brown first and go over with the darker, but that is what how I color when I want more of a shadow. And I just kind of a mixing color. So I'm going to kind of just go dark. I mean dark, really light layers on top of each other just to kind of mix my colors together. OK, 
Okay, and we'll go back to this one. And see, it just gives him a cute little different color there. He's so adorable. Oh, I love him. I think Rudolph is one of my favorite characters. I think it's that nose. That big old red nose. I have a dog with a heart nose. He is a Dalmatian. And his nose has a spot on it. And it is so black, and so is his nose, that it makes his nose look like a big heart. And that is honestly the reason I really fell in love with him when we bought him, because he had a heart nose. My mom likes to find hidden Mickey heads in his spots. Okay, oh my gosh, he's so cute. All right, so let's color in this last little bit of honey brown here. And I don't think I'm going to add too many shadows to him uh, because I've blended those two colors. I think that he's pretty, pretty good. I will add some in some very obvious places like where his hair overlaps, but for the most part, oh my gosh, he is adorable. Oh, I love him. You imagine this little guy driving around a sleigh all day. He looks so teeny tiny. <laughs> okay, I don't think I'm going to do peach up here. I think I'm going to use a little bit of a very light gray and just kind of add like a little gray kind of shadow at the tips and the sides of his antlers. I don't know why. I just don't think they should be cream colored. I think they should be white. Look at how cute he is. Oh my gosh. Guys, he's so cute. Okay, let me get my darker brown. And I'm gonna add definitely some shadow back here. And maybe a little shadow under his neck. And some right here where we have these overlapping legs and right here. And oh, look how cute he is. Maybe a little bit up behind his nose. That way it kind of makes his nose look a little bit more um, 3D, 2D, 2D. Coming off the paper a little bit, a little bigger. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. You guys, I love him. Look at how adorable our little Rudolph is. I hope that you had fun doodling with me today. If so, please like, subscribe, and share the video. And I can't wait to see you guys again next time. Goodbye.